Welcome back to C++ with Miyoshi. We're going to talk a little bit more about arrays today and multi-dimensional arrays. So here we have a 2D array. We're going to have uh, two dimensions. And so I have a float array, three in square brackets, four in square brackets, and then assign the value. I'm just going to initialize and declare at the same time. I have open curly brace and an open curly brace. One, two, three, four, separated by commas, close curly brace, comma, open curly brace, five, comma, six, comma, seven, comma, eight, close curly brace, and a comma, and then I'll open curly brace, nine, comma, ten, comma, eleven, comma, twelve, close curly brace, close curly brace, semicolon. What this does is it makes an array that's got three rows and four columns. So I have uh, row zero, row one, row two, these guys here, zero, zero, row one, row two, and columns zero, one, two, and three. And notice that I set this up to look like, uh, just like it would in my array down here. Um, and I did that on purpose to show you the different, the three rows and my different columns, my four columns, um, to show you just how you can use two-dimensional arrays. Now, uh, this is all nice and neat and beautiful. Uh, one thing I would suggest uh, when you look at these guys, think of them as rows and columns, because if you think of them as X's and Y's, you'll think, this is my X. Well, the X can be your columns, but just remember X goes, um, is a little bit opposite than you would think about um, in Cartesian coordinates, for instance, because your X, if it's X is a columns, X is your second thing, and your Y is the rows going down, that's your first thing. So think about them differently. That's why I tend to use rows and columns. Matter of fact, when I use um, an array, uh, when I use a loop, to initialize them. Here I have the same array of, as I have over here, and I have rows and columns. I use actually R and C. So I'll do int R is the value uh, 0, R less than 3, which is my number of rows, R plus plus. Notice the 3 corresponds to the 3 back here. Uh, then I have the int inside there. I've got a nested loop. I've got 4 int C is the same value 0, C less than 4. Again, 4 is my number of columns. So I have that there. And then I'll do C plus plus. And then I have my array RC is assigned to value 1. Now again, you could use X's and Y's, but be aware that this would be your X, if you will. And this would be your Y, so you have the, them separated there. Um, you have them kind of swapped. And then I do my I++, and this is just going to give me the same exact thing as I have over here, where I initialize them to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, in row and column. Okay? So just like I have over there. Now... Um, this is all nice and neat. Uh, the one other thing I want to mention about arrays is that you can uh, use them with structures and later on when we talk about objects you can use them with objects as well. The thing you have to be careful of is that when you create a structure person, uh, for instance, I have the person again, uh, then if, when you create the structure, the array of structures, then you have to make sure that you address them properly. Um, matter of fact, when I was writing up this on the board, I actually forgot that I was going to make an array, and then um, I put just just p dot name. Well, that'd be kind of normal, except for since I have my p is now an array, I have to do p sub zero in this case, p sub zero dot name, uh, and then we're going to do a string copy John inside there. Okay, or if I do p sub zero dot age, then it's going to be fifteen. So I, again, all I have to do is remember that my person. My structure is in a, is an array now, and so then I can then address them properly. If I forget that p dot age, they actually when you use Visual Studios or other uh, uh, nice neat uh, IDEs to help you out, they actually show you what the it's going to come after the dot. It won't show you the age because it says, "Hey, wait, something's wrong. I can't address p because you don't tell me what index you're at." So remember when you declare an array especially of structures, remember that you've got to do the P, um, make sure you do the index of that structure, okay? So, one last thing, and that is that you can have multidimensional arrays. You can have an a, a int array M, in this case I have array M for multiple array, and I have uh, open square brackets 3, open square bracket 2, open square bracket, oh, open and close square brackets 6. This shows me that I can have Three, array, three dimensions. If I want to have more dimensions than that, I can just keep putting these little square brackets there and put how big they are, and that will give me uh, however many dimensions arrays I need. Um, they get a little bit 
Harry there after a little while, but you can do as many dimensions as you need. Uh, if you're doing linear algebra, maybe you're gonna need uh, however many dimensions you want uh, for that. So, um, multi-dimensional arrays, especially 2D arrays, very nice and easy to use in C++. Um, so, and you can use them again with structures and use nested loops to your best advantage, especially when initializing them or if you're gonna print them out as well. You just use them uh, to your best advantage. So, 2D arrays, multi-dimensional arrays, um, use them to your best advantage in C++. And thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope to see you next time on for more C++ with Miyoshi.